Hello everyone, this is Gazalem with Jason and the Boys, and we are here with another Warframe video. This one is going to be on how to do the Phobos Junction. To be honest, this is like one of the hardest junctions to do in all of Warframe. So get ready, because we are going to go over all the steps, and try to break them down as simple as we can. So, we got Phobos Junction, you have to come through Mars, you gotta do these missions on the way, of course. And then if you hover over, you can see the requirements. So first of all, we have defeat 100 enemies in a single mission on Mars. Not too bad. Scan three Cephalon Fragments on Mars. That one is a nightmare. Open three with Relics in the Void. Or, open three with Void Relics. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Get that done in about 10 minutes, not too bad. Okay, so starting off with the defeat 150 enemies in a single mission. For this one, it has to be on Mars. Both of the first two requirements, 150 enemies and Cephalon Fragments, all have to be on Mars. So be sure you are selecting these missions. So yeah, for the 150 enemies, I would suggest just doing some sort of endless mission. Honestly, I would go solo if you're able to. If you're having trouble in dying, um, I'd say going public is probably fine, or going friends only, just to get a little bit of help and survivability might be nice. But just for, if you're just going for the fastest way possible, I'd go solo, and I'd choose an endless mission. So endless missions include excavations. There's also disruptions here, very good. Um, let's see, exterminate wouldn't work. Defense would work. Um, you just basically stay until you've killed 150 people. It all has to be in the same mission. If you leave too early, or if you're looking at the total kill count, it's not enough. Interception is also very good. Another defense down here. So, in my experience, Disruption is really good for spawning enemies. Um, excavation can also be pretty nice. I feel like lots of enemies come for those as well. Um, decent rewards. You get some Kratic as well if you do an excavation. So, I'll just go ahead and show you what the excavation is like and how to get 150 kills there. Just kill people, you know, complete the objective on along the way. It doesn't really matter too much. Ah, dang it, that guy's hiding. Whoa. Get him. And there is a way to keep track of your kills. So the way you check to see how many kills you have in a mission is you hold down Tab. That's for PC. On console, I'm sure there's some other way to do it. But yeah, you hold down Tab, and then you can see how many kills you got. So right now I'm at 5 total kills, and I want to get that number up to 150 before I extract. So yeah, let's go ahead and keep doing the mission. Killing people as we're going along. Um, you can get a whole lot of kills through ability kills. And yeah, so we'll just go ahead and activate this. And just shred anyone who comes near this thing. So yeah, I just passed 150 kills. So I'm headed to extraction now. Honestly, like, it probably won't take you much longer than it took me. I'm at about 8 minutes, so you know. 10 to 15 minutes in solo, and you should have this one knocked out. You may not even have to go out of your way to do this one. You could probably, honestly, just stay a little bit longer than you normally would in just like your regular star chart missions, and you could get this one figured out without too much troubles. All right, so that's how you get those 150 kills. So let's see the next one. The next one is just a little bit more difficult. For that one, we've got scan three Cephalon Fragments on Mars. I'll go and throw up a picture of what those look like right here on screen. But overall, the biggest thing you need to remember is you're going to want some loot radar on your Warframe, as well as keeping an eye out for them, just like physically. But for the most part, when I'm looking for them, I just throw loot radar on my Warframe or my companion. So for this one, I'm going to sacrifice a mod slot and throw on... Thieves Wit. So if you have this one, this one is a really good one to do, or you can do Master, wait no, not Master Thief. Let me just look up this. So Loot Radar. And there's a couple root, Loot Radar mods. We got an Aura mod, Loot Detector. That one you might have to buy if you don't have it. Um, Thieves Wit though, not too hard to farm. As you can see, I have 173. I've definitely gotten way more than that. Um, I normally just get it like in the Plains of Eidolon, or if you don't want to farm it, you can buy it honestly for like a couple plat, like two to three plat on the market. So yeah, I'll go ahead and throw some Thieves Wit on there. So I got some Loot Radar. 
or if you have the mods for it, you can go to your companion, put some regular animal instinct on, but yeah. So if you have animal instinct, throw that on your Cupro or Sentinel and that will work as well. Okay, so let's get into the mission and show you how we can do it. Efficiently is to get a full squad of friends that are all looking for it. Makes it way easier and you all just kind of like spread out and look for it across the map. I would suggest doing an exterminate mission. Probably the easiest way to do it. Um, so if you go into a public match, you know, just message everybody like, Hey, I need some help looking for the Cephalon Fragments. Please mark it if you find it. And then if they find it, they can press a G to mark it. And then you can f see it from anywhere on the map. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at my mini-map up in the top left. And we're going to be looking for a little blue circle. And if we find it, then we want to mark it for our squad mates. But in this case, I'm solo. So we just want to go as quick as possible. Just like run through the mission. Complete the objective. This one's not too bad. Just kill like 70 enemies. So while I'm going through this one, I'm just going to be casually looking for that Cephalon Fragment. Um, one should spawn theoretically in every mission, but I have never seen it spawn in a defense tile set So you probably won't see it in an interception or a defense I never have but if you're going to any other mission on Mars, I think you should be good Like exterminates survivals disruption. It should be on all of those Ah, uh, Yes, when you see the supplement fragment is close you'll see a little blue ball appear on your screen and with like four little cubes next to it and that is what the Cephalon Fragment will look like. So yeah, here is what these things look like. They are these little blue orbs here. On your mini-map it will look like four little cubes that are next to each other. So if you have that loot radar on you can usually see that from a good distance away. And then you can mark it for your squad mates and they can see it. Um, if you are going to scan it, you will need a synthesis scanner. So you go ahead and open up your gear wheel, go to your synthesis scanner, or you can use a codex scanner if you don't have one of these yet. So you go ahead and pull out your scanner, and then you can scan it. I have already completed all of my codex scans, so it won't let me scan it. But basically, you just like hover over it and hold down your mouse, and that will get you a good scan. Overall, you need three of those, so you're going to have to do a decent amount of missions to complete that. Alright, if you don't have any codex scanners, the way you get those is you just come up here to the market, and then you just search codex, you click on one of these, they don't cost that much money, so I'd suggest getting at least like 10 or 20 of them, and these are sets of 25, so 10 or 20 is more than enough, although if you aren't don't have that many credits, only if you only have enough money for like even one or two is fine so go ahead and get one or two and that just gave me 50 of them so pretty nice all right so that is how you get the cephalon fragment scans now i will show you how to do the last part the very last part of this junction is to open three i believe it is with void relics open three with void relics so for this um, basically, you just go to this spot on your menu right here, and let's see, we've got a few with relic fissures available right now. These will rotate what mission nodes they're on. They will always be like between like Earth, Mars, and Venus, for and Mercury for the with ones. So the planet you probably already have unlocked. Um, as for the specific planet node, you may not have unlocked. Um, you can always, you know, have a friend take you to one of these if you don't have them unlocked, or you can just wait till there's a planet node that you have opened already to do these. So since I have both of these unlocked, I can do one of these. Um, survival is not the best because you have to wait a full five minutes to open it. Basically, anything else is going to be faster than survival. Mobile defense also isn't the best. But if you ever see a with fissure that is like a capture mission or a exterminate, those ones are incredibly fast. So if you ever see capture or exterminate, just jump on that. Go ahead and do those fissures as many times as you can. So since we don't have any fast ones, I'll just go ahead and select a mobile defense because that's our only option here. So I'll go ahead and select a relic to choose. This is really important. Um, be sure you actually do select a relic, otherwise you will not be opening anything and it will not count. 
So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select a random relic and equip it. You can upgrade it if you want to to make it more likely to get higher drop chances, but for this, I just don't care. So I will cancel that and just equip this for a mission. And we are going in. All right, so kind of the point of these missions is to, one, complete the objective, but you also have to kill these special enemies that are going golden and they will have a chance of dropping reactant. So as you are just doing your objective, whatever it is, like whether it be exterminate, capture, right now I'm doing the mobile defense, you wanna kill these golden looking enemies and they will occasionally drop void fissure traces. And you need 10 total traces to open up your relic before the end of your mission. Up in the top left, you can see reactant collected. So far, there we go, I just barely got one there. Let's see if I can get one. There we go. It looks like those little fiery symbols on the map. So if you ever see those fiery symbols, that is the reactant that you need to pick up. So you just go and pick it up. And see, I'm at two now, so I just need eight more. And then after you get the full 10, you just finish your mission. And then voila, you will have your relic opened. There we go, I just got my 10th reactant. So now all I gotta do is finish these last two mobile defense terminals. And when I extract, I'll have that relic. Right. And then if you're playing a squad, it will let you choose which of the items you want to get. In my case, my relic opened up a Nessa Prime system, so pretty good. And you also get some void traces from those missions, which is also pretty nice. All right, so basically for that one, all you gotta do is repeat um, whatever mission has fissures on it. Just go ahead and do that uh, two more times and you will have that requirement opened. As far as the actual junction itself goes, pretty easy. You just go in and slay the specter. And for the Spectre, this is Mag. All you gotta do is walk up to her and kill her. Boom. See a chump. There we go. That's all we, that's all we had to do. You can kneel down in front of this thing and chill. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Boy!